Of all the components that make up a sustainable home, rainwater harvesting seems to get the most attention. We're extremely fortunate today to have Rusty Hendrickson of Green Building Solutions, an accredited rainwater specialist, to give us some history and background on rainwater. Rainwater harvesting has been around for the millennia, and in many countries it is the only source of water. A properly designed, professionally installed and maintained rainwater harvesting system will give you an endless supply of high quality water. Now what happens here is we catch all the water from the roof. The water is then transferred through the gutters and then headed out to our cistern. But before we allow it to go into the cistern, it has to go through the first flush, whereby we take the first 100 gallons of water and basically discharge that water. We've been able to clean the leaves, clean off any kind of material that might have been in the roof. Now inside the tank we have two sets of filters before the water ever touches the main body of the cistern. This is all done by gravity. The water flows back to the house through a 50 micron filter, a 5 micron charcoal filter, and an ultraviolet light. The ultraviolet light displaces any and all bacteria. From the ultraviolet light, the water then goes into the house, giving our owners superior water, soft water. Now that we've captured this water, our concern turns to efficiency. With efficiency comes where are we using the majority of our water not just inside, but outside. 65 to 70 percent of all water used throughout the United States, especially in the South and Southwest, is directed to landscaping. Now, with that water, we're concerned with how it's being used. Well, we're transitioning now throughout the South to drought tolerant, drought resistant plants. One of the most efficient ways to water our native plants is through drip irrigation, where the water goes directly to the root ball. Another thing that we're using is the water from our air conditioning condensate line. We're getting anywhere from 12 to 20 gallons of water per day and we're watering two separate planters just with that water. Now our focus turns to inside water efficiency where we're using dual flush toilets, low flow shower heads, low flow faucets, all water sense products. We're also using Energy Star dishwashers and washing machines to reduce the water inside. Our average customer uses 35 to 50 gallons of water a day, half of what the national average is. Water efficiency is a real key when it comes to running a fully sustainable home.